my lovely friends my name is Ava and I thought that it would be really fun to talk to you about what I'm currently reading baby, baby. I also thought it would be fun to maybe talk about some books that are on my radar or some books that I'm really excited for that I have checked out on Kindle Unlimited just like I want kind of like a chit chatty update book video like just talking about books that I'm currently reading and books that I want to read <laughs> the jet is going off right now game day for you. <laughs> I'm in a very indecisive mo mode at the moment. Last month I was in a little bit of a slump and then the beginning of this month I was like reading so fast and I think I was reading too fast and it affected <laughs> how I am reading now. Um, so basically I have not finished a book in over five days and that doesn't happen for me ever. <laughs> ever ever there's also some other things going on with me at the moment i had a flare-up with my chronic illness and it's affected me a lot so that's also another player in here just a bunch of things have happened to where like i'm currently reading like 10 books right now and i have not finished any of them <laughs> let's talk about these books they're they're kind of like a wide range of things i have a reread i have a book that's not a romance book we have a ton of romance books we have some alien romances <laughs> uh katie robert like Let's just, let's dive on into these books. I was joking when I said 10. I'm currently reading like, well, I'm a good read that says I'm currently reading like 10, but I've put down like four of them. So we're not gonna talk about those, but I thought it'd be fun again to talk about the books I'm currently reading and then books that are on my radar with like Kindle Unlimited that I just downloaded that I can't wait to pick up. So first let's talk about the book, books that I'm currently reading that I'm really liking. I'm currently reading Ensnared by Tiffany Roberts. Uh, this is on Kindle Unlimited. This is an alien romance book and this was my member pick for my TBR for October. If you didn't know I have channel memberships down below and one of the perks for being one of my channel members is to submit any books that you have recommended for me that are on Kindle Unlimited and then I put them on a spinner wheel and all my TBR videos and I spin the spinner wheel. So my lovely friend Jen from the Book Refuge, she put this book on my spinner wheel and I am really enjoying this. <laughs> I think I was on like 5% this morning. I saw a Tiffany Roberts fan art clip, like not clip, but like I saw an art print that they just posted on Instagram today and um, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to read that now. I'm not going to put it on the screen because trying to keep this channel as PG as possible, but like go check their Instagram. It was hot. It was hot. <laughs> but yeah, this is an alien romance between a human woman and an alien who looks like a spider. So from what I can gather of this book so far that I'm in right now, I'm like 30% of the way through. A human woman ends up crashing in this uh, spaceship and the hero lives in like the jungle part of his planet, which not a lot of people, spiders spider alien creatures uh live in the jungle and so one day when he's exploring he comes across her spaceship and then takes her and thinks that she's like a pet and so he takes her back to his cave and he's kind of realizing right now where the point that i'm at is like oh um i think she might be like an intelligent being and not a pet he's very gentle and kind and they're trying to communicate right now because they don't speak the same language and i love a good language barrier trope if you don't know language barriers are one of my favorite tropes of all time i need to make a trope video for that very soon again a lot of those language barrier tropes <laughs> Our alien romances so <laughs> needless to say the cover art that tiffany roberts put on their instagram today just made me want to dive into this and so far i'm loving it the first couple chapters were very hard for me to get into i think just because there's a lot of world building and a lot of alien terminology and a lot of made-up terminology because it's in a made-up alien world and so i think i was a little overwhelmed and so i started this a couple weeks ago the art print was the thing that made me pick it back up today <laughs> It's like, I want to read that scene. I want to read what happens. <laughs> I think it's a trilogy all about the same couple. I think book two is out already. And then book three is out very, very soon. And so I can't wait. Hopefully this is just another alien romance series that I love. So if you want to recommend me a book that's on Kindle Unlimited and have me read it in real time, um, be sure to uh, join my channel memberships and you can submit any book on Kindle Unlimited to me and I could possibly read it. So yeah, thank you so much, Jen, for recommending this one because I'm currently loving it. Speaking of alien romance books, I got another one for you. If you didn't know, I'm trying to make my way through Ruby Dixon's backlist 
And so I am so close to finishing everything she's ever written. It's like, oh, it's gonna be a huge accomplishment for me whenever I do that. But I am currently on Caspar, the second book in the uh, Corsair Brothers series. This is a space pirate alien romance series. Um, yeah, this is book two to Adarion, which I loved. I love this one. I'm only on like chapter like one or two. A lot of these books, I'll read like one chapter and then I put them down because my headspace has just been really bad lately so like i want to read them i want to read them but my like it won't let me read more than one chapter <laughs> so i read like one or two chapters of caspar i don't want to talk about too much about this one because it will spoil book one at darion and you need to read them in order in the first book at darion uh caspar and his two other brothers because he has two brothers they're space pirates and they are on a treasure hunt to find this abandoned very wealthy spaceship and they come across it they finally find it and they find out that human women have commandeered the spaceship and the human women try to uh, commandeer them. So they try to steal from them when they come on the ship. The human women and the aliens end up getting stuck on the spaceship and they're trying to find a way to get off of it. And so um, this is the romance between Caspar and one of the human women. I really liked them in book one and their banter. And so I really hope that it's just great in book two as well so far from the one chapter that i've read it's it's pretty good i love Rui dixon i'm probably gonna love this so i just need to uh kick my butt into gear and finally finish books that i started <laughs> okay another book that i've started and um haven't made more progress in since almost a week <laughs> i've read like 20 percent of it and listened to it um, it's The Sea Witch by Katie Robert. This is book number five in the Wicked Villain series. If you didn't know, the Wicked Villain series is a series by Katie Robert where a lot of the times she'll have like classic Disney villains or like representations of them um, get in romantic relationships together like with villains and heroes. So villains and heroes will get together instead of just heroes. Um, so like there's a Jasmine and Jafar book. There's a Hades, Meg and Hercules one. There is a Tink and Hook one. Beast, Gaston, and Belle is that one is the fourth one, and this is the fifth one, and this is the reimagining of the Little Mermaid. So it's gonna be between Eric, Ariel, and the Sea Witch. So it's like, but they're different names in the book, obviously. And so I've only read like listened to twenty percent of it, um, and I love the audiobook. It's so good so far. But yeah, so far what I know is that Zuriel, who's Ariel, um, is trying to help save. I think his name's. Alaric in the book technically Eric I'm just gonna say Eric is trying to save Eric from um I think he's in like servitude to either Hades or the Sea Witch I don't remember which one um and so Zuriel is trying to figure out how to save him from the predicament that he's in and she asks the Sea Witch for help and the Sea Witch kind of like tells her uh, they have an auction every so often at Hades's club from the money you earn in that auction for being doing something i'm not gonna say what you can infer what if you offer yourself up on the auction block basically um you can earn enough money to save him from his servitude and so that's the point where i am at right now i honestly love kitty robert and i love what she's done with this series i definitely want to read more darker hotter um disney retellings like i think they're so fun um so if you have any more other than just this series please leave them down below i'm always up for disney retellings okay another one that i'm reading is not a romance book i have surviving and thriving with an invisible chronic illness by alana jacqueline so yeah as i said earlier in this video i had a really bad flare-up last week um it's the worst one i've ever had in my entire life i've never fainted more than once in one day also if you don't know i have a chronic illness it's called pots i will link my information video about it if you don't know what POTS is where you can learn about it and everything and anyway so I've never fainted more than once in one day and I fainted twice in the span of 30 minutes and I almost fainted two more times during that day and I puked so like it was a bad day overall <laughs> one of the worst I've ever had and so I'm trying to fix my lifestyle a little bit and hoping that will help positively affect me and so i just have been eyeing this book for forever the cover really intrigued me and it's on ku and so i was like you know what i'm gonna pick this book up and see if they have any tips or tricks or this is something that i can really relate to because right now i'm not finding a lot of books that i haven't already read 
yet that have chronic illness representation or talk about chronic illnesses that I really relate to. And so far I am really enjoying this. There's already a bunch of highlighted quotes I have in here and so if you have a chronic illness I really recommend what I've read so far of it. I'm just reading it every now and then I read a little bit before bed I feel like because I feel like I get more depressed while I'm laying in bed. <laughs> Um, at night and so whenever I feel that way I'm just like no you're not gonna be sad you're gonna read this book and get some helpful tips on what to do with your life um, and how to make yourself feel better and so that's what I've been doing and it's been good so far and so I really recommend this book if you have a chronic illness for the last book that I'm currently reading but then we're gonna talk about my Kindle Unlimited downloads really fast um, I am currently rereading a book but it all started because I finally downloaded and bought the audiobook for the, the Ippos King? The Ippos King, I think that's the title of it, by Grace Draven. This is book number three in the Wraith King series. And this is all about Saravek and Inuzet, who we've met in the previous books. If you didn't know, Radiance is the first book in this series. Radiance is a great book to read as a standalone, but if you want to, you can read the other books to read more in the series. And so I downloaded the, um, the Epos King and just decided to immediately dive on into it because I was like I love Radiance so much I've read it a billion times I don't need to reread it and then I started it and I got like two chapters in and I was like no I can't do this I need to go back and read book two because I've realized that I haven't reread book two as much as I have book one and so I put that book down it's not on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads because I technically put it down I have to wait for me to finish the second book to reread it. So I'm currently rereading Eidolon. This is the second book to Radiance. It's the same couple as you can see on the cover. It's Ildiko and Brishan. And I forgot how much happens in this book. This is the continuation to Brishan and Ildiko's story. And um, this one is very more plot heavy and politics royal heavy. Um, so if book one didn't float your boat because it was more character driven, go ahead and dive into book two and you might like it even more. Um, it's already about a couple that is already established though. So if that's not really your cup of tea, I totally understand. Book three is what I'm super excited for because book three is about characters you meet in book one and book two and their romance um, because the heroine in The Ippos King is a Kai woman. Um, so the same species as Kai, uh, not Kai, as Brishan. And she is also like his uh, commander in chief of like the army. Um, so she's a freaking boss, boss woman. And so that's her romance with Saravak who is a human king who you met in the previous books. But anyway, I'm currently reading rereading Eidolon and I am thoroughly enjoying this. I haven't reread this much as much as much as Radiance. I will reread Radiance over and over and over again. It's like my favorite romance book ever. I love it so much and I will fall asleep listening to the audiobook sometimes. Like it's so good. I think the audiobooks for these books are only available on Audible. So if you want to listen to them, I think they're only available on Audible. Um, so I had to renew my Audible subscription just to get this. I just wanted to listen to this so bad because I feel like the narrator for this book is just great. Okay, so those are all the books that I'm currently reading. And so I think I will update you on the books that I'm super excited for. I have on my Kindle Unlimited subscription. I'm not going to talk about all of them because some of them I still have downloaded that I've already talked about before, but I think I'll talk about like new ones that I've downloaded recently because Kindle Unlimited just like upped their borrowing to I think 20 bucks. And so um, I've just been downloading more and more and more and more. And so yesterday or the day before I downloaded like over seven. Let's talk about, I just downloaded Caught by the Convicts by Jessica Kane. I've never heard anybody talk about this one. And this one, was published earlier this year. Um, so I love Jessica Kane whenever I'm in like a like a mood with reading like I am right now where like I don't know what to read, I don't know what to pick up, I will most of the time pick up a novella or Jessica Kane because they're super fun. I think this woman named Wendy is in a prison and there is a prison break and during that prison break she is taken hostage but she doesn't know by who and then she's locked in a cell with two men who have no choice but to share their treasure. <laughs> And then Wendy is surprised to find she likes being caught as long as it's Clay and Rugger doing the trapping. Good thing too, because they aren't letting her go. That sounds so fun. Um, I was just wanting to download a Jessica Kane that I haven't heard about before and the cover just like caught my eye. So I was like, click, done, download. <laughs> I also downloaded, of course, some like monster alien romances. So I have a few of those. Um, I just downloaded No Getting Ogre You by ML Eliza. So Jacqueline, while she's hiking along a trail, ends up falling 
into an ogre's lair. He should be this enormous horned like scary monster, but he's actually really sweet and gentle. And I think there's a language barrier here. So like I said before, language barriers are like my thing. I love them. So yeah, I guess it's about the two of them falling in love. His name's Krug. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Yeah, he's, it says that Krug forms an instant bond with these strange surface creature who falls through his roof but as much as he adores her and as good as she makes him feel he knows he cannot keep her before long krug will have to choose between his home and his clan and the love of his life like that sounds so cute and it's very short it's only like 81 pages and i'm really feeling novellas at the moment like the shorter the better and so i just think this can be so fun and then another monster one that i found was the orc's bride a monster romance by lila fay another short one this is like 143 pages again like all of the ones that i'm talking about are on kindle unlimited so if you want to check them out go ahead um okay so it looks like this is the first book in a trilogy and it ends on a happy for now so i think there might be a cliffhanger or something so the heroine it says that her orcs killed her family and she is determined to end their rule so when a ferocious silver silver eyed orc says he'll carry her away from her backwater village right to the orc capital she takes this chance being among orcs and having access to their interpreter can save humankind there's only one complication this orc wants her to be his mate um he promises or rather threatens to court me over the journey <laughs> that's cute i love like a cute sweet guy who just wants to court a woman oh an orc courtship oh wait orc courtships isn't about flowers and holding hands it's about showing me his desire i must pretend to be attracted to him so he doesn't discover my secret Ooh, the problem is i don't have to pretend i'm falling in love with my deadliest enemy I love a good enemies romance and that cover really intrigued me too oh that sounds so good I haven't read any orc romances and like that's like the rage right now isn't it then I found my birthday getaway by Marina Simcoe um <laughs> the cover really intrigued me for this one <laughs> they kind of look like tentacles or is that a tail I don't know. The series is called My Holiday Tales, so. Aliens came to Earth to abduct our women, but it backfired. Now they're returning them, and I'm in charge of shuttling women back from orbit. Ever since I first laid eyes on the alien ship's commander, I've had a crush on him. Who can blame me? He's tall and gorgeous with the skin the color of midnight. He has a voice that can purr or roar. And seven long tails? He really knows how to use orc. He has seven tails. Are you kidding me? That's what the cover looks I thought he just had like a really long tail based on the cover. Nope. Seven tails? Oh my gosh. Okay, she says, I know I can't have him. I've never even spoken to him, but when an incident renders the commander unconscious, I have no choice but to take him to my remote hunting cabin. Instead of cooperating, the commander thinks he's being abducted. Now I have a pissed off alien on the loose in a Canadian wilderness wearing my Snuggie. I need to keep him or risk losing my job and starting an interplanetary -pl conflict, among other things. What I don't know is that finding him will cost me my heart. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cute. I know it's like the third in like a series, but it says it's a complete standalone. The other books have kind of been on my radar, but this one just sounded so fun. I did not know he had seven tails though. I guess I just missed that when I first read the summary. That's hilarious. Um, okay, so I also have Intention by Ava Harrison. This is a standalone enemies to lovers romance. I think I downloaded this because there is disability representation in this book somewhere. I don't know what the representation is. I know I like found it on like a blog post someone made of disability rep and romance books. Anyway, this says I had it all. Dream job, fancy apartment, great family. There's one thing I don't have, would never have. Then he showed up, rich, arrogant, condescending. He came to me with an ultimatum and I had no choice but to agree. I need to convince the world that I was Nathaniel Harrington's girlfriend so his legacy would stay intact. Spending time with him would be difficult and fooling the world wouldn't would be even harder but persuading my heart into thinking that his kisses meant nothing and that his gentle touches were all in my head would be impossible i was falling for him but fate had other plans our time was limited because i knew the truth a truth that would end us okay i need to figure out what disability rep is in here because i completely forgot oh i found it on a blog post that's called 15 romance books about disability that aren't like me before you <laughs> love it okay 
because I've read so many books on this list. I think this was like the one book on the list I haven't read yet. Okay, this book is a happy ending. So just that's amazing. Oh, Mad that's why I wanted to read it. Madeline the heroine, she has a severe form of endometriosis. Okay. Her intense struggles with chronic pain, her sacrifices and the decisions she has to make for her health are the focus of this story. She meets Nathaniel who has been floating through life and needs a fake girlfriend of all things. The story is so insanely emotional. Oh my gosh, Andy Arndt narrates this book. Man, I want the audio now. <laughs> Dang it, I want to listen to this now. Andy Arndt and Shane East audio book, like narrate this and they are amazing narrators. Oh, now I wanna to listen to this book. I also wanna talk about a book that I just downloaded for free today, but like kind of caught my eye. Um, and then I have one more book after this and we'll, then we'll be done. But this book is also on Kindle Unlimited, but I downloaded it for free. So it'll be on my ebook haul very soon. It's called Beast in the Cage by Tammy Walsh. It says, what happens when an alien slave master gets greedy? After being thrown into cages to pleasure brutal alien fighters, I am broken, a mere shell of who I used to be. I'll be used and forced to do the monster's bidding. It's too much to expect a male to watch over me. Then the beast claims me. When he touches me, I yearn for more. When he kisses me, I surrender in gratitude. When he undresses me, I ache to scream his name. And when he makes me fly, I soar higher than ever before. But there's a problem. In exchange for my release, I've already made a deal with the warden to get impregnated by the beast with the beast's baby. How can he love me when I'm betraying his deepest wishes? That sounded good. Maybe a little dark at some points. Who, who can guess that uh, I am intrigued by an alien romance? I don't know, who can guess? <laughs> and the last one that I just downloaded that I really wanna start like right now is A Brutal Mate by Lee Savino. This is a very short summary. We have one minute I'm walking home from a nightclub, the next, I'm waking up in a cage, abducted by aliens, given to an alien race, put up for auction. But instead of being sold to the highest bidder, I'm rescued by one of the brutal ones, the biggest, baddest bullies in the universe. But it's not a rescue, not really. My rescuer makes it clear he wants nothing in return for saving my life. My rescuer makes it clear he wants something in return for saving my life, an omega me so it kind of sounds like an omega verse kind of alien romance which that sounds so good and it's only like 146 pages so it's very short and what i'm reading at the moment is i want i want short books so there you have it those are some books that i'm currently the many books that i'm currently reading and some kindle unlimited books that i'm very excited to dive to dive into um i've kind of like threw my tbr out the window the rest of it that i have for october i'm just like reading whatever i want to so yeah please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to i would love to know and chat with you about them or if you have any alien romance recommendations for me that's on ku that i haven't read yet obviously um please let me know down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all